Eid al-Adha Arabic, Eid al-Adhi translate. Eid al-Adha, lit. Feast of the Sacrifice, Idl Dash, also called the Festival of Sacrifice, is the second of two Islamic holidays celebrated worldwide each year, the other being Eid al-Fitr, and considered the holier of the two. It honors the willingness of Ibrahim Abraham to sacrifice his son as an act of obedience to God's command. But, before Abraham could sacrifice his son, God provided a lamb to sacrifice instead. In commemoration of this, an animal is sacrificed and divided into three parts, one part of the share is given to the poor and needy, second part is for the home, third is given to relatives. In the Islamic lunar calendar, Eid al-Adha falls on the tenth day of Du al-Hijjah. In the international Gregorian calendar, the dates vary from year to year drifting approximately eleven days earlier each year. Other names In languages other than Arabic, the name is often simply translated into the local language, such as English Feast of the Sacrifice, German Opferfest, Dutch Opferfeast, Romanian Sarbatoria Sacrificialui, and Hungarian Aldozati Unnep. In Spanish it is known as Fiesta del Cordero or Fiesta del Borrego both meaning, "...festival of the Lamb". It is also known as Eid Albkurt Eid al-Bakara in Egypt, Saudi Arabia and in the Middle East, as Eid Kurban Ide Korban in Iran, Kurban Bayrami holiday of sacrifice", in Turkey, Korabanira Ida Korbanir Id in Bangladesh, as Eid Alkbar Eid el Kebir in the Maghreb, as Tfa Ska Tamakart in Jirba Berber, as Idalada, Hari Raya Adalada, Hari Raya Haji or Kurban in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines, as Bikra Eid Bakra Eid, Goat Eid" or Bai Eid Bari Eid, Greater Eid. In Pakistan and India, Bakara Eid in Trinidad and as Tabaski or Tabaski in Senegal and Odun Ilayya by Yoruba people in Nigeria West Africa most probably borrowed from the Surah language—an ancient Surah religious festival. The following names are used as other names of Eid al-Adha. Id al-Azza, Id al-Azza, Id al-Adha transliterations of the Arabic name is used in Urdu, Hindi, Assamese, Bengali, Gujarati, and Austronesian languages such as Malay and Indonesian. Id al-Kabir, Id al-Kabir meaning, Greater Eid, the Lesser Eid, being Eid al-Fitr is used in Yemen, Syria, and North Africa Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, Libya, and Egypt. Local language translations are used in Pashto, Lawi Akhtar Loy Akstar, Kashmiri, Baed Eid, Urdu and Hindi, Bari Eid, Bengali, Bara Ida Boro Id, Tamil, Peru Nal, Great Day, and Malayalam, Bali Perunal, Great Day of Sacrifice, as well as Manding varieties in West Africa such as Bambara, Maninka, Jula, etc., Saliba, Big, Great Prayer. Id al Bikara meaning Eid of cows also sheep or goats", is used in Egypt, Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. Although the word bikara properly means a cow, it is also semantically extended to mean all livestock, especially sheep or goats. This extension is used in Hindi and Urdu as a very similar name. Bakra Eid, Bakrid, meaning, goat Eid, is used for the occasion. Kurban Hayidi meaning, Eid of sacrifice, is used in Uzbekistan. Lebaran Haji Hajj feast", is used in Malaysian and Indonesian, in the Philippines. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The word Eid Id means, "...festival", "...celebration", "...feast day", or "...holiday". It comes from the triliteral root een ein wa wa dal dal, with associated root meanings of to go back, to rescind, to accrue, to be accustomed, habits, to repeat, to be experienced, appointed time or place, anniversary, feast day." Arthur Jeffery contests this etymology, and believes the term to have been borrowed into Arabic from Syriac, or less likely Targumic Aramaic. The word, adhi adan means, "...sacrificial animal." It comes from the triliteral root dad dad ha ha wa wa, with associated meanings. Daylight, to appear, to appear conspicuously, sacrificial animal, to sacrifice. No occurrence of this root with a meaning related to sacrifice occurs in the Quran. In modern Arabic, the verb dai daha means, to sacrifice, and a dait dahiya is a sacrificial offering. The first element in the Persian name idi kurban ide korban is identical to Arabic id, above. 
The second is from Arabic kurban kurban, meaning, offering, sacrifice. Christians use the term to mean Eucharistic host. In the Islamic Arabic tradition, it is held to derive from the root kaf kaf ra ra, ba ba, with associated meanings of closeness, proximity, to moderate, kinship, to hurry, to seek, to seek water sources, scabbard, sheath, small boat, sacrifice. Arthur Jeffery recognizes the same Semitic root, but believes the sense of the term to have entered Arabic through Aramaic. Turkish Kurban Bayrami uses the same first element as the Persian Kurban Korban. Bayram means holiday", in Turkish, with close cognates in other Turkish languages. Its ultimate etymology is contested. <inaudible> Origin One of the main trials of Abraham's life was to face the command of God to sacrifice his dearest possession, his son. The son is named in the Quran 4 Ishmael, whereas it is mentioned as Isaac in the Bible. Upon hearing this command, Abraham prepared to submit to will of God. During this preparation, Shaitan the devil tempted Abraham and his family by trying to dissuade them from carrying out God's commandment, and Abraham drove Satan away by throwing pebbles at him. In commemoration of their rejection of Satan, stones are thrown at symbolic pillars during the stoning of the devil during Hajj rites. When Abraham attempted to cut his son's throat on Mount Arafat, he was astonished to see that his son was unharmed and instead, he found an animal which was slaughtered. Abraham had passed the test by his willingness to carry out God's command. This story is known as the Akita in Judaism, binding of Isaac, and originates in the Torah, the first book of Moses, Genesis, ch. 22. The Quran refers to the Akita as follows: Abraham had shown that his love for God superseded all others; that he would lay down his own life or the lives of those dearest to him in submission to God's command. Muslims commemorate this ultimate act of sacrifice every year during Eid al-Adha. While Abraham was prepared to make an ultimate sacrifice, God ultimately prevents the sacrifice, additionally signifying that one should never sacrifice a human life, especially not in the name of God. The word Eid appears once in Al Maida, the fifth surah of the Quran, with the meaning solemn festival. Topic: <inaudible> Eid prayers. Devotees offer the Eid al-Adha prayers at the mosque. The Eid al-Adha prayer is performed any time after the sun completely rises up to just before the entering of Zur time, on the 10th of Dhu al-Hijjah. In the event of a force majeure e natural disaster, the prayer may be delayed to the 11th of Dhu al-Hijjah and then to the 12th of Dhu al-Hijjah. Eid prayers must be offered in congregation. Participation of women in the prayer congregation varies from community to community. It consists of two rockets units with seven takbirs in the first rakah and five takbirs in the second rakah. For Shia Muslims, Salat al-Eid differs from the five daily canonical prayers in that no adhan call to prayer or akama call is pronounced for the two Eid prayers. The Salat prayer is then followed by the kutbah, or sermon, by the imam. At the conclusion of the prayers and sermon, Muslims embrace and exchange greetings with one another Eid Mubarak, give gifts and visit one another. Many Muslims also take this opportunity to invite their non-Muslim friends, neighbors, co-workers and classmates to their Eid festivities to better acquaint them about Islam and Muslim culture. Traditions and practices During Eid al-Adha, distributing meat amongst the people, chanting the takbir out loud before the Eid prayers on the first day and after prayers throughout the three days of Eid, are considered essential parts of this important Islamic festival. The takbir consists of Men, women, and children are expected to dress in their finest clothing to perform Eid prayer in a large congregation in an open waqf stopping field called Eidgah or mosque. Affluent Muslims who can afford it sacrifice their best halal domestic animals usually a cow, but can also be a camel, goat, sheep, or ram depending on the region as a symbol of Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his only son. The sacrificed animals, called adiyah Arabic, adhit known also by the Perso-Arabic term kurbani, have to meet certain age and quality standards or else the animal is considered an unacceptable sacrifice. In Pakistan alone nearly 10 million animals are slaughtered on Eid days costing over 2 billion dollars. The meat from the sacrificed animal is preferred to be divided into 3 parts. 
The family retains one third of the share, another third is given to relatives, friends, and neighbors, and the remaining third is given to the poor and needy. Muslims wear their new or best clothes. Women cook special sweets, including ma'amol filled shortbread cookies. They gather with family and friends. Topic: <inaudible> Eid al-Adha in the Gregorian calendar. While Eid al-Adha is always on the same day of the Islamic calendar, the date on the Gregorian calendar varies from year to year since the Islamic calendar is a lunar calendar and the Gregorian calendar is a solar calendar. The lunar calendar is approximately 11 days shorter than the solar calendar. Each year, Eid al-Adha like other Islamic holidays falls on one of about two to four different Gregorian dates in different parts of the world, because the boundary of crescent visibility is different from the international date line. The following list shows the official dates of Eid al-Adha for Saudi Arabia as announced by the Supreme Judicial Council. Future dates are estimated according to the Umm al qura calendar of Saudi Arabia. The Umm al qura is just a guide for planning purposes and not the absolute determinant or fixer of dates. Confirmations of actual dates by moon sighting are applied on the 29th day of the lunar month prior to Dhu al-Hijjah to announce the specific dates for both Hajj rituals and the subsequent Eid festival. The three days after the listed date are also part of the festival. The time before the listed date the pilgrims visit the Mount Arafat and descend from it after sunrise of the listed day. In many countries, the start of any lunar hijri month varies based on the observation of new moon by local religious authorities, so the exact day of celebration varies by locality. See also Corbin Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links Mutaki, Shahid Ali, The Sacrifice of Eid al Adha Animals in Islam when are Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha? Eid al-Adha or Bakrid Eid al-Adha wish <laughs>